early this morning and we're in Harvey Bay sailing. We're in search of some whales. There doesn't seem to be uh, many here. They we seem to be a couple of weeks late. They seem to have left and started heading south before we got here. Still a couple, we hope. So we're in search of some whales. Uh, if I don't find some, surely we'll be very disappointed. So we're heading for the Great Sandy Strait, which is the sandy strip between Fraser Island and the mainland. We're going to head in. Do a bit of exploring in there again. Shirley wants to go right up the other end and uh, feed the dolphins. So uh, we're going to head uh, and have a bit of a play in there. And we should hit there just about at the turn of the tide, which is good. And then we're going to play around inside the Great Sandy Strait for a couple of days. Might even feed a few dolphins. Good morning. Heading further down the Great uh, Sandy Straits. We go to Tinkan Bay. It's going to take us about four hours. Uh, it's going to be rainy and hardly any wind. And so, yeah, good day for uh, motoring through the Sandy Straits. So it's virtually low tide now. It's just the last of it uh, going out and then it'll be going with us so uh, it's pretty shallow in lots of spaces but it's good you can see all the sandbars and then we'll have the current uh, pushing us going with it so that's that's good very interesting spot the great sandy straits i love it it's um yeah it's it's just it's beautiful on a bright sunny day it's magnificent but even on cloudy days it's just so interesting there's there's plenty to keep you awake and um, keep you thinking at the helm instead of one of those long days where you're just ploughing along at the same degrees. Plenty of things to go around and not run into and not run aground. Dugons uh, this morning in the, in the water. Stick their nose up, eyes up, and have a look at us, and then dive down. They're very, very shy. I'm literally using charts and my eyes to get through the shallow water it gets down to one meter and we draw 1.2 so i've got to be very careful to go through the deep water here because we're on dead low tide who ever said that's so impossible well, that's not supposed to go there doesn't know me well Cause I know That today Holds more Yeah, so much more yeah, So much more yeah, So much more The charts don't seem to be uh, accurate at all as I was worried about and now I find that there's two red or port markers. Uh, 
in the sand shift at one static and old and the other one looks like it's floating and new so I'm heading over to the new floating one. I think that one might be better. It's unreachable Well they're not to blame It's just that their hearts are torn They don't know where to go to So they fall on you But I know That today holds more And I know That tomorrow Will show us so much more, so much more, yeah, so much more. Much more bad weather are coming, basically a week of it. Strong wind warnings and 25 to 30 knots. Big swells, so looks like uh, we're in Tin Cam Pay for a week. So that's gonna delay us on a trip home, but hopefully have fun. Very interesting harbour, beautiful. Um, lots of shallow spots, but very interesting. That's not supposed Big uh, fishing fleet, and as you can see, they're um, all in harbour, and I don't blame them. Because I know that today holds more. Yes, so much more. So I'm glad we made the decision pull into harbour. We've been in harbour for three days now and literally it hasn't stopped blowing or raining. Uh, our uh, cockpit is actually so saturated the, the fabric uh, Queensland room, it's actually leaking and it's blowing. They've been getting gales of uh, up to 39 knots at Mulgoola Bar which is the next port we're going to. So, so we just had a gust then that uh, the strongest we've had so it's probably getting up 40, 42 maybe 45 knots so it's and we're in harbour it's amazing poor Shirley one of the highlights of Tinkam Bay is the dolphin feeding right next door to the coast guard in the small harbour of Tinkam Bay itself the first dolphin comes in and hangs not far from us but Trust Shirley. The dolphin goes straight to Shirley, not any of the other 15 people lined up. The dolphin feeding started about 50 years ago when an engine dolphin was sitting next to the boat ramp and a couple of the fishermen fed it and come down every morning feeding it until it actually was well again. When the dolphin was able to swim away, it basically came back every day for a feed early in the morning. Eventually it bought friends, and now there's a pot of dolphins still to this day, which are relatives to the original dolphin that still come in every morning for a feed. Okay, this is Joe, and he's eight months old. They are Australian humpback dolphins, river estuarine and coastal dolphins. You won't find these in the ocean. They like uh, shallow tropical waters and you'll find them from the Queensland border right up the coast here and across the top of Australia. 
As you can see by the colouring, they are different to the bottle nose. They have a longer rostrum and they're grey and freckling and motley and that is sign of age. This bloke here, we have uh, Patch, he is 30 years old and he's uh, well matured. Boys mature about 12, ladies about uh, 10 and uh, yeah. Now over there we have Mystique, he's 26, he's the alpha male of the pod of about 12 in this area. We have about 50 or so in this area. We have the greatest concentration in Queensland. I'm sorry about that little one. You missed out. That was cheeky, wasn't it? <laughs> that was lovely. They're beautiful, gentle creatures. They're awesome. So we've had a very wet but nice day in Tin Can Bay. We're now out, heading out. We're going to head close to the bar. Hopefully over the next couple of days the bar will settle down and let us out. But um, even the whole fishing fleet, it's quite a large fishing fleet here, is in harbour. And uh, we've driven to have a look at the bar a couple of times and um, it's looked atrocious. So, but we're going to get ourselves nice and close and anchor there and uh, that way we can, if it doesn't rain in the morning I can send the drone up to have a look at it and see if it's settled. But, uh, According to our weather forecast, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get out until Monday or Tuesday, which is in uh, two days' time. But we're getting ourselves nice and close. We're all pretty watered and got some more food aboard, and hopefully uh, we can start heading south again soon. Good morning, we're all biting the bullet and heading out, should be quite fine. You can see uh, you can see a bit of swell out there, but um, we're all going out over the leads, hopefully we get to Mooloolaba, it's feeling good to go out. The water's very brown from all the rain, but uh, it's going to be good to get out there. Certainly sick of being in harbour. What do you think Shirl's about finally getting going? Awesome. I think another day or two and I'd be totally gaga. Yeah. Just cabin fever is a horrible thing. <laughs> Gone are the beautiful blue waters now after all this flood rain it's literally just brown here at the Sandy Straits. Well, we run aground on a sandbank day, day yesterday, or the day before, and um, it looks like we've damaged our auto hill. Every time we put the auto helm in, uh, it wants to steer us uh, way off course. So it looks like it's going to be a long couple of days. Looks like uh, hands on the wheel the whole time. Old fashioned sailing like we used to. Just 
had an increase in wind speed, so we put the jib all the way out and woohoo, we're starting to fly. So hopefully this trip will be a bit shorter to, and we can fix the autopilot. Let's hope. Once we, once we hit Fraser Island, that's basically the end of the, the coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef. So now we just basically don't have the reef to slow down any of the swell at all. We're out in the ocean. So from here, further south, uh, just sailing in the Pacific now, not the Coral Sea. Well, we're just about into Mooloolaba, so we're just going to sail up for a very short time and then pull it in and go into the Boulevard Harbour. Been in before, not with this boat. But, uh, quite a nice little harbour. We're just going to spend one night. Looks like it's going to be, there's been rain and thunderstorms and hail uh, coming this way. And it looks like we're going to get in just in time. Bar is a very comfortable harbour to sneak in and lovely and protected. We found a lovely little bay in Anchorage uh, not far from the shops and we're going to meet up with the Peacock family that we've kids have basically been adopted to us as grandkids so we're going to have tea with them before we head south. So next time we'll be actually sailing to Morton Bay and inside Stratty and you're going to see the Tangalooma Rex and we're going to surface and before we pick up a new crew start heading further south. See you then.